Hello there, YouTube Hacker Master here, and today I'll be showing you the public beta version of OSX Yosemite. This was just recently released on July 24th, and I down and I downloaded it yesterday, so I'm still new to this. So, these are the following applications. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot the link to the public beta testing is in below, and it's free. It's just there are very few bugs, pretty stable release. So now let's get on with the video. These are the following applications I'll review and plus FaceTime. Yep. So as you can see, notes is pretty much the same. Sync with your iCloud account. So let's go to Finder. First of all, Finder has a redesigned icon. I like it more. Smiley face over there. So what the main fe new feature is iCloud Drive. With iCloud Drive, it syncs with your iOS 8 device. It doesn't have functionality with iOS 7. So you can pretty much use it as Dropbox or Google Drive, basically. Let's say I drop a screenshot in there. You see that thing, the button over there? It's going to be loading. That means it's syncing. So that's pretty much the only new feature of I of Finder. Let's move on to Safari now. Safari's been redesigned for an iOS 7 look more. So, as you can see, you can open up tabs as usual. One neat feature is that you can view all your tabs at once. Yeah, as you can see, this is still a beta version, so it crashes sometimes. So, let's open up a few tabs. So, neat feature is you can view all your tabs. Whoops. As I said once again, Safari is not um, like fully. It still, it still has bugs in it. So let's just open one tab up at a time, and then I think that'll fix the issue. Yeah. And plus, the battery life on this is. Okay, it's not the best, but I'm pretty sure that'll be fixed soon. So, yep. So both of these tabs are open. You can press that, and then you you can view all your tabs. The neat thing is, if you open like five tabs from the same website, it'll group them in a stack for you, so it's easy browsing experience, I guess. And as usual, your preferences are there. Everything's the same. You can still add extensions. I have add block here. Yep. So, and plus the search bar is in the center now, and you can go directly to your bookmark without clicking it. And I like that pretty a lot. And your bookmarks bar is here with your favorites and your shared links. And also, um, through Safari, you can have access to RSS feeds. That's a new feature that Apple has added. So let's just quit out of Safari and go on to our next thing on the list, the Notification Center. So as you can see, you can drag and drop widgets. You can grab, you can add widgets to your notification bar. So it's over here, and I have my Today Reminders World Clock and Calculator, and you can also view your notifications. That's the only new thing is the widgets part so now that's now next is itunes itunes has been redesigned a bit not too much you can still airplay so let's say i want to go to the itunes store it's now here instead of over here you can view the movies but i think like the part that was supposed to be here like you can click that for music and click over here for podcasts. That's been moved over here. So if I want to go to a music store, I have to click there. And then you can also go to my music. I see this is a bit harder to navigate through. It took me a few minutes to learn about this because I'm not this famil familiar with this new version. Yeah, so that's iTunes. And that next is messages. Yep, here it is. So you can send a text message like 
I it'll go. And all and also another feature is the voice message. You can send an audio recording to the person. I don't know why it you it was here. I think it's because of the screen flow voice input. I think that's why it's gone. But you can send voice text messages to your people. So that's like the only new feature of messages. So next is Game Center. Game Center is, has been redesigned for an iOS 7 look. Yep, so it's pretty much the same. You have your friends, your games, your challenges, turn-ons. Same. And now is FaceTime. So with FaceTime now you can um you can have s no oh yeah i forgot one thing with messages is now you can receive sms messages so you can basically get messages from like androids to your mac and lots and blackberries and much more and i think with facetime now you can connect your ios phone and you can use your mac as a speaker and a microphone so you don't have to speak into your phone. You can just speak into your Mac and multitask. And yeah, that's with FaceTime. I think you get preferences now. The same thing though, you can get block people here. You can add people to block. Pretty much the same for FaceTime. Let me put up my brightness. So that's it. Now let me just say some more things. The battery life is okay, not the best. I still support Mavericks for battery life, but it's okay. So, and also a new thing is Spotlight. Um, spotlight is now in the center, front and center, instead of being up there. So now you can search anything, but Wi-Fi based searches are US only. You can, with this one, you can only search on your local machine. Let's say I want to search. 2014 to 2015. I have a document running. Yeah, see, that's my document there. Oops. Yeah, and you can open it up there. So you can search any document you want. And that's pretty much the only thing. That's it, pretty much. And also, I like the new trash can, more transparent. And also, a new thing part is I think it's this transparent display not all all the versions have it but on your top that it'll be more transparent I think it works with some apps not all um let's just say new document no it doesn't no because with um OS X Yosemite the top part of every app is transparent so you can look on to your wallpaper it's Small feature, but it's pretty cool. So that's it for our OS X Yosemite preview. And if you want this um, version, you can download it from Apple. It, it's still in beta testing and it's free for the public now. So thank you for watching and please rate, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. So once again, thank you for watching. Goodbye.